In this video, we will discuss the WASP tool. The Wide Area Search Plugin, or WASP, is a tool used to list information when conducting a search of an area or a specific structure. Tap on the WASP tool located in the toolbar. In this window, the user may select from a variety of categories, structures, multi-residence, shelter in place, victims, vehicles, hazards, other, and extra. Tap on light damage structure. A new window will appear allowing the user to add information and photos prior to placing the marker on the map. Note, you may skip this step if the information cannot be readily entered at this time. You have three options to place markers. Place the icon directly on the map by tapping on the desired location on the map screen. Place the icon directly at your current location using your device's GPS or by entering in the grid coordinates or address. Tap on the map screen to place the point. Once the icon is placed, a start data package collection window will appear. For the purpose of this video, we are going to tap snooze alert as data package will be covered in a separate video. Tap on 15 minutes. Now the user will have access to the icon's radio menu. In the radio menu, tap on search status denoted by the blue house with a magnifying glass. This opens the search view window. Here, the user can tap enter, which will place a timestamp of when the user entered the structure to conduct the search. To the right of the X, the user may select a specific hazards that are present. The three tabs at the bottom are where the user can detail the specific information relevant to the structure. Tap on structure. In this window, the user can now begin to detail that information specific to the structure. Tap on the structure box. Here, the user will select the building type, construction type, number of floors above ground level and below ground level, and the best entry point with a specific level of the entry point. The user may also add notes as required. When satisfied, tap OK. The user should now see the information within the structure. If the user wishes to add photos, tap on the camera button on the bottom right. In this window, tap on the Add Picture button denoted by the circle with the plus sign. Here, the user may select the specific file or method of adding the picture. Tap Cancel. Tap the persistent bat. Tap on the request tab at the top of the window. The user can create requests for all marker types. Tap add request. The request will appear in this list for all team members to see. The user may add specific personnel as well as equipment necessary to complete the request. Once completed, tap request. The user resolving the request can tap Resolve. The system will record the time and call sign of when and who resolved the request. Tap on the Victims tab. Here, users may add relevant information about victims within the structure. Simply tap the plus button to add the specific number of victims. Tap Confirm when the desired number is added. In this window, the user can select specific information relevant to the victims. When the information is completed, tap OK. This step needs to be completed for each victim within the structure. Tap on the arrow located at the top right of the window. This returns the user to the search view window. The user can now tap on Exit, which will prompt the user to select whether it was a complete search or a partial search. Select the End Search status and tap on End Search. Each icon within the WASP tool has their own specific search input criteria, but functions the same as the residence icon we have discussed. Note, when offline, all non-coordinated marker IDs will be aggregated. As soon as a user connects to a TAC server, all offline markers will be sent across the network for other users to see. This concludes the WASP tool.